Wings to Fly is a children's book about gaining confidence and working to succeed, told from the perspective of a young girl who loves to play basketball. She is often left out by her teammates until she meets her guardian angel who teaches her that success takes perseverance. Wings to Fly is a great read for all children. I would highly recommend this book. If you would like to make a purchase, please click on the link in my description box below. There were seven members in the council. There's Frank. There's Ishmael. There's Gaps. There's Wally. There's Jazz. There's Guy and myself. Nikki set out to recruit the best and the brightest in the black underworld. First, by enlisting Frank James, one of the most feared dealers in Harlem. Then, Nikki recruited two successful street dealers, Wally Rice, who liked to invest profits in real estate, and Joseph Hayden, AKA Jazz. To extend his business beyond Manhattan, Nikki enlisted a dealer from Brooklyn named Thomas Foreman. He also recruited Guy Fisher, a young up and coming street dealer who worked the South Bronx. Nikki saw a lot of himself in Fisher and wanted the young dealer to be his protege. Barnes also chose Ishmael Muhammad, a street dealer who considered himself a devout Muslim. He would be their spiritual leader. This group of men became Nikki Barnes' counsel, pledging to be loyal to one another. The council was an organized crime syndicate. They controlled the heroin trade in Harlem. With all the knowledge that he soaked up in the joint, Nikki was ready to take over. And now Nikki was making over $30 million a year. But the crime rate was about to skyrocket. The crime rate increased to crazy heights. Anybody who Nikki thought was an informant was getting whacked. All witnesses were getting whacked. Anybody who challenged Nikki in the council was getting whacked. All competition was getting whacked. See, Nikki let his ego get the best of him. Nikki loved the flash. He loved the limelight. Nikki loved having all the attention on him. See, Nikki was feeling himself so much that this dude ended up on the New York Times magazine on the cover, which it read, Mr. Untouchable. This is Nikki Barnes. The police say he may be Harlem's biggest drug dealer, but can they prove it? When Nikki Barnes agreed to do the New York Times Magazine cover story, he had already been indicted on federal charges, but nonetheless went through with the profile. In 1977, the Times reported that he had been arrested 13 times, but had not been convicted. I mean, this fool was out here taunting the police and taunting prosecutors. He was that much into himself. The magazine cover shows Nikki in his demeanor seemingly calm with his hands folded in front of him, wearing a nice blue jacket. I was asked to do a piece on him. I said, of course I would, you know, because he's, he seemed juicy, because he stood there and went like this to everybody. Every gang, you know, the Italian crime, the Jewish crime, the Irish, as they came through, the dynamic was, you were a criminal, you killed people, you made money, you invested in legitimate businesses, and you became a CEO. I recall getting a phone call from a fellow by the name of Fred Ferretti. And he said, uh, David, we're going to put an article in the Times, and uh, this will be the front page uh, picture. Two days after that, I get a call from a fellow who introduces himself as A.M. Rosenthal. He says, my name is uh, A.M. 
Rose, and I am, I said, perhaps you don't understand. I can't get involved in this uh, posing bonds for a picture. He said, no, Mr. Breitbart, perhaps you don't understand. If I don't get him posed for a picture the way you want, he said, I'm going to put that picture when he was arrested in the middle of the night and uh, it was for the murder and it's got a number across his chest and he looks like he ate the victim's eyes. I'm going to put that on the front page of the New York Times. He said, what time will your photographer be here? Please follow the History With No Chaser Facebook and Instagram pages. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comment section.